Welcome back to the Ride Boundless Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Ride Clean. Ride Clean is an ultra premium polish and sealer that you just shake, spray, and wipe, and your bike looks amazing. Go to rideclean.co and use promo code RBPODCAST for 15% off. On this episode number 21, we went back old school to episode one and got the OGs of the podcast and recapped uh, all the episodes and, uh, you know, talked about which ones are our favorites, which ones we want to repeat and who's coming back. Um, obviously, Haim is here and my very good friend, Mark Pineda. Here we go. <laughs> Mark, this is going to be episode 21. Can you believe it? That's crazy. It's crazy that it's so fast. I mean, I feel like uh, 20 episodes. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, crazy. it's been fucking insane. It's been a crazy journey. It has, Speaking yeah. to fucking amazing people, listening to great stories. The lineup we got coming up next, mm -hmm. I mean, just this week is going to be fucking insane. What What have you seen uh, What have you seen that has improved or what, what have you been liking? <laughs> The quality sounds so good. Compare this to the first episode. It was uh, first yeah. episode was, uh, was hard. <laughs> it, was it, was, raw. it was raw. It was, it was rough. Uh, it was it rugged. It let, was, let, let's, know, it, was, it was true. Let, let's go over the first episode. Was was just us three, right? Yeah. yeah. The first episode it was Mark Pineda. Shout out! Thanks right. for coming back, brother. Ah, I've always been here, everybody. That's right. I've just been in the background, under the table. Second episode, <laughs> Donnie <laughs> Goodman. That's really weird. Second episode, Donnie Goodman. Yeah, good. Yeah, that, that was. That, that, that was been fun. One where I'm like, nah, I don't like it. All of them been great. All the guests, I love them. It's great. I love it. Next episode, we talk to Rio about Miami. Fucking Rio, man. Yeah, that, that one. That one pissed me off just because he tried to correct me on the north and south and west and <laughs> east of, <laughs> that of, that the, of the Atlantic one. I Ocean. So hard in that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the way he called it out was like, "What?" Like he wasn't even noticing. What you also, would. yeah, he he wasn't catching it, but but I forgot. But that episode was kind of fun. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, episode four with Colin T. McCarthy. Oh, that guy talks too much. <laughs> <laughs> that guy talks way too much. That was a good one too. I I, I, you, I actually heard some good feedback. People like you know wanted to do uh you know retail and and what he does and. You know, people getting into it, they saw that it's a bigger process than what it is. Yeah. So for for a, a business aspect, I thought that was a I thought that was a good episode. That one, and and as we're talking about each episode, that one was was funny because like the first and the second one, we only had one mic. That's right. And yeah. you weren't even here. You weren't here. You were on. Oh, right. You were via computer, and and um, Colin and I. I put two tables together because it was the beginning of COVID nineteen. Yeah, so already. I, 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 yeah, so I had, I had to put two tables in front of each other, so we were kind of like six feet away, even though we were like no, we were six feet because it was like three, two and a half, two and a half, and um, that you that get, one. You guys made out at the end. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, sure. he gave me a you know <laughs> cock check, and you know we had all that fun. Nice, but he talks way. Too much. <laughs> Shout out to Colin. Thank you for being a good sport, brother. Especially to right man. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, of course you can have a free bottle of Ride Clean. Well, if you tag him, though. Yeah, T tag me, please. Um, yeah. So after the calling one, that was the li the life changing uh, sound difference because Robert got the, you know, the roadcaster on episode and four, then, and ep after episode four, and and we recorded after uh, Matt Lello, episode five. So episode four was Colin. Yeah, with only one mic. With one mic. Shitty audio. Then we went to Matt Lelo. Matt Lelo with this thing already. With the roadcaster. Nice. And yeah. we did the SHB whatever, 56,000. Uh-huh. What was the mic? Which one? The, the show, the show the, mics. The Which mics were we using? Oh, the SM58. The SM58s. So then we started using those mics, and then we did the, that was our first uh, Bluetooth uh, phone call yeah. through, are, through the road. What are these mics? You just got these. These are, nice. the, these are the uh, these are the pod mics, and these are the hottest shit in yeah, the market. Dope. And actually, I'm happy I got mine very early in because right now, um, Amazon, Guitar Center, pretty much anywhere, there it's two three months waiting list. Yeah, everything is like hard to get. 
It's yeah. crazy. This yeah, but I, I, I guess this, I guess everybody's trying to start a podcast, which fucking oh, everybody yeah. should try to do a podcast, Hell but yeah. they're just buying up shit left and right. And, um, you know, it's just really hard. Uh, I, we bought one and, uh, I bought one and, uh, <laughs> then I needed, uh, then I needed some more because we did, we only did one video. That's the only thing probably in these first top 20 episodes, we only did one video, which was with Nate. Did right. you watch the video or did you, uh, I listened to it. You listened, I to, listened it. to it, which I would actually prefer because yeah, yeah. you can build your own imagination as they're talking. Yeah. Cause once you like, I like watching it too, but, uh, I use, I'm usually driving and listening to it. So I, it as a if someone tells a story, I can kind of picture it in my mind, in my way. Well, and you've also been here, so you can imagine, you know, being here while they're yeah. talking. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Episode um, five with Matt Lendo also was you oh, know I'm the beginning of of man. us getting people that are you know have something to add to the that's to the industry and stuff like that. Oh, he's yeah, the, that's that's he's where our leader. numbers jumped. That's where our numbers jumped, and and then now he launched his podcast. So I would love to do a crossover with him. Oh yeah, but um, man, a lot of growth in twenty weeks. If you know, if we really go back to just this plus yeah. whatever we have in our personal lives. But uh, Matt, get back on, please. And then the next one is the one that really jumped up the numbers because he has a personal vendetta with anybody who, who <laughs> who passes him in views. And it's uh, Michael Canabo oh, or Super Seventy Three. Super Seventy Three. I really enjoyed that one. That, that one was, was really, really good. good. That, that was that, a good conversation. Yeah, that was, was a good. A, that was a fun. Guy. His story is great, also. Yeah, his story is great. He's a good storyteller. Yeah, he's a good storyteller. And I don't know if it was his stories or the way he told the stories that that entrapped me the most, or it was that he promised us that he was going to take us to Disneyland and <laughs> give us like the know, best time. So I don't know if he bribed us, and that's why it was so good. It was good chemistry. I, mean, I don't you know. Guys the, talked it there out was and, there was a moment when I went to visit them at the at the office, and he said, "Did an, did anybody get more downloads than me?" <laughs> and I was like, "Only one person." And I was like, "I'll take care of it." And two hours later, he was already. Yeah. Yeah. So so. That which was, I think, like two episodes later, but uh, at his skyrocketed just because he has a huge following. Yeah, and he posted and let everybody know, hey, I was, I did the right balance podcast. We talked about this, and we got to hear the the story, the beginnings of uh, you know, Super Seventy Three. Yeah. So whoever hasn't heard that episode, highly recommend it. That was good. But a few weeks later, you know, he was like, "How's my episode doing?" And and that's what Jaime's <laughs> talking about. We're like, "Yeah, there's there's one person that passed you," and he was like, "What?" And and then he reposted, and and he's still the top. Yeah. Top um. Man. Episode seven is with Mark Gamo. That was cool. Yep. Yeah. That was cool. The the whole Africa trip, the BMWs, the the reviews, uh, his story. Um, I miss that guy. That's funny because I, I that was the first time I you met know him. he's been traveling a lot. I've seen a lot of stories of him being in Vegas lately. And Everywhere, yeah. yeah. The, those posts he's been doing on um for Vegas. Fuck, I wish. Oh yeah. As much as I go to Vegas, I, I can't believe I haven't been there to take pictures. I've like actually that. been creeping out in the you know in your messages, and I saw that you guys were texting. And I was like, oh okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but but it's funny because <laughs> I I I really miss Mark Gamo, and that was the only time I met him and talked to him in person, and that, you know yeah. that's it. We met and broke Think ways. The next Sunday he came also. I don't know if you were there actually. He came to ride with us. Yeah, yeah, oh, I nice. saw him, but he only showed up. He didn't ride, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he turned out. Um, the next one with uh. Dustin Willing, free willing. Oh yeah, for the peoples. Yeah, that was a good one. That was good. Uh, since then, no, I ha- since then I kind of hate him because he's been trying new bikes every every month. He has a new one now. Yeah, this guy's been riding for like five days. Yeah, and he's doing more. He's accomplished more on reviews than all of us put together. Yeah, and he gets bikes that like nor- I feel like normally people don't are interested in, and uh, that's good. Like I like that. So here's the thing. There is a huge following after the bikes that he's getting. No, for example, for sure. the Suzuki um, V-Storm that he got, there's people that have been following the bike since like 20 years ago, and they're like super loyal to the brand and stuff. But yeah. we, it's, it's the good thing of having people like him here that um, we learn a lot about other sides of the industry that we're not used to, used to seeing. Yeah, right? there's a lot that I, just, I don't even know. Like. I mean, yeah, you like Harley Davidson, you know. There is a, a lot, lot of, you don't know. There's a lot that you don't know. <laughs> shit, yeah. there's, there's quite a bit we d- we all don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty dumb, everybody. Yeah. Uh, no, don't say that. That's not true. <laughs> Michael Beach? <laughs> Michael Beach. Michael. That, 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 was, that to me was, was really good because, you know, 
as as an old friend, you know, old experiences to catch up and, and get it documented and, and hear his story of what's going on. It, I, I, I really love that episode. Michael. Yeah, that one's good. I like it too. Yeah, that one's good. And um, we had a mutual good friend that actually I was just talking to uh, Jess about that, uh, you know, we're going to try to get Eddie Cibrian, uh on the podcast. That'd be cool. We, you know, we was we all. I'm sorry. Each other. Who's that? Eddie Cibrian's an actor. Uh, oh, okay. He's done a he's done a bunch of TV shows and some movies, and nice. um, I sold him a bike. And Michael Beach and all we were like you know friends, close friends, yeah. Yeah, we, I, I actually didn't ride with Eddie Cyprian, but you know I sold his bike and we hung. I think we went out to lunch twice with our buddy Dean. Nice. So nice. Uh, the next one was the old record breaker in forty eight hours. Uh, Noah Valinsky. Noah. Yeah, Noah. Noah damaged the dancer. Yeah, he damaged some shit up. That was good because I got to talk about my childhood and, you know, brought back a lot of old memories. Yeah. I think that's the only one that we uh, we really got down and drank. We went crazy. Jaime couldn't even keep up. He yeah, was, I was like, I'm Jaime gonna, was losing I'm his gonna shit. I'm going to need to edit this hardly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jaime was actually sweating as we were recording, bro. He was so stressed out. He's like, what are you guys saying? <laughs> Witnessing well, crimes, I didn't know any. I didn't know anything of drug this consumption. Guy's life. From yeah. previous, you know, he's like, I don't like that, Robert. I like Pepperdine, Robert. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I enjoyed like, that. that. I don't that know that, Robert. Yeah. That was that was a fun adventure right there. Actually, I just spoke to him today. He wants to know when he can be back on, and uh, we'll schedule it. He's down. Nice. Drink um, Jace Hudson, Fast Life Garage. And that was good too. That yeah, was a big fan of him. Man. I really like that. Yeah, I've been mean, now. Now that I know who he is, I've been seeing bikes painted by him, everywhere. helmets everywhere. Yeah, no, yeah, he's he's badass. Yeah, J- Jace is uh he's definitely dedicated to his craft, and I, I you know appreciate that. N- now that we we've have this many episodes, and again compared to Jace, it's it's nothing. But because we have this much more, I, I would love to do one pretty soon, like within the next few months with Jace again, and I'm sure we can really get down on conversation experiences storytelling everything else yeah he has a lot of well stories. it was with jace actually that we talked for like what two hours and a half three hours no that was so three hours almost three hours and then we stopped recording and we and talked we for stopped. another hour yeah no no and and i stopped it i was kind of intimidated 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 massachusetts Massachusetts. massachusetts <laughs> uh that it was going for that long and you're right we i cut it short three hours yeah. And once we were which done, is, which is about right, I think. Yeah. You know? Well, it depends. I mean, every 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 <laughs> guest is going to be different. It just go, you know, depends how far we take it. Um, but yeah, I I would I'd really like to do one with Jace again. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That's cool. What, you, what, what was your favorite part? Do you remember what was your highlight on that one? Just the story coming up, you know, just uh, everything that he's he's gone through and stuff like that. You know, his story, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a humble guy. He's very cool. Yeah. The next one was uh, Chris McIntyre. Oh, Chris. What would you think of that one? I didn't listen to that one, to be honest with you. What? Yeah. That? Really? That, that story was really good, too. So I can't say much about that. Sorry. Guys. Yeah, Chris uh, Mackle. Uh, Mackle, to catch up with him like that. You know, I, I, I knew before we got into the conversation, I knew most of the story. We've had the conversations many times before. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've heard him tell the stories. But... His energy is fucking insane. You know, th- yeah. his energy is is awesome, and and the way he tells the stories and the experiences and caring and like that 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 for me was another highlighted episode that that I thought was fun. Which, by the way, we have to follow up with um, because we got to do a trip with him and document it. So that's that's another thing I've been trying to get to meet him again, but our schedules have been it's not working COVID. out. Yeah, COVID has been fun. fucking up a lot of shit. Yeah. The next one was Spicoli. What do you think, Mark? Spicoli? Yeah, because I think you texted me about 48 hours after, immediately. No, nah, it was good. Let me see. Yes. The supermoto. Supermoto. Oh. Girl. Yes. Yes. That was really good. No, that was great because, you know, I like stories that, that um, just like she traveling around the world and stuff like that, that's, that's dope, you know? Yeah. It's really cool. All the experiences she's gone through. And yeah, she's really hot. <laughs> yeah, she's 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 hot. She's a great fucking talker. Yeah, Her really energy good. level is fucking insane. She had just can't come from like a six hour, eight hour drive 
yeah. you know she she was a lake have suit she sits down with us and and she gets down and and that was i think we had a lot of good laughs on that episode yeah that was good but yeah. the, but anybody in the supermoto you know world that checked that episode out because that was uh, and everybody knows cool. it already yeah because yeah. we then we did the brian one and and they knew each other and every since i got the the KTM, relax brother. relax sorry Everybody that I sorry. talked to knows her, basically. Yeah. Um, the next one was Andrew Campo from Meta Magazine, which uh, we also have, you know, some pending visit. Yeah, we 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 have a pending. So that that was a good episode. Hearing their story uh, definitely makes me appreciate their yeah. their work on what they do um, with the magazine and how clean it is. I have promised myself that I was going to buy some. I have them all. The yep, next day I got them all, yeah, and I'm Did subscribed you? now. Yeah, yeah, I I got to do that. I haven't done it yet. I will do that, and then we need to follow up with him because we were supposed to do some huge Zoom conference call for or a charity visit, or visit something. Visit to oh yeah, that, that too. So I I don't know when that was taking place, but we definitely got to follow up with him. But that was a um, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, dedication, and um, and that was a good one. What episode was that? What number? That one was episode fourteen. 14. And um, the next one is the one that I did not expect at all, but it's the one that did captivate me into the story the most, um, Linwood Robinson. Oh. That one was good. I like that one. That actually, I teared up with that one, man, the way he told the story and stuff like that. You you, you cried? I didn't, I mean, I didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> crying I now? I cry, bro, but you know. Are you I crying got a teared now? Up. I got yeah. a teared up. It was, it, you know, it's, it's crazy. Everybody has stories and stuff, so. It's, you know, it's nice to hear someone. Well, it's not nice, but it's like, you know, it was an interesting um, life he's had. Yeah, th- and that was another one where I, I didn't, I didn't know Linwood too too well. And when when I met him, he was a, he already heard about the podcast. Yeah, I was already getting feedback from the podcast, and he was excited for the podcast. You know, and then he actually mentioned like, "Hey, can I be on the podcast?" And I was like, "Really?" And like. You know, like okay cool you know so we got him on as soon as we could and, and um and there was a delay on releasing that one because that week i think we recorded like five episodes mm-hmm. so or like four episodes so he was delayed like three weeks um based on that but yeah that that was emotional that was deep yeah that was deep especially it wasn't motorcycle ish but it was you know. no but i did i did have I did write with him like three, four times or five times even before that. And I didn't know anything about him. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it kind of opened up to know how much do you not know of somebody when... You, and you and you don't. And, and actually, I was just talking to Nate yesterday. And Nate was like, um, yeah, Mark called me up. He, he said, Mark, call me up. And he, and he said, I never knew you knew so much. <laughs> it's true. And I was like... Did well, it. you didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I'm not just going to start talking about aliens with you, bro. So, yeah, but uh, but yeah, he has a lot. And actually, we, we, even from the beginning, we know there's going to be multiple ones. We're recording one soon, which will be released very soon, sure. uh, which will just focus on one topic because that was, we were talking about COVID. We were talking about conspiracies. We were talking about a bunch of stuff. The next one is uh, Brian Murray from SoCal Supermoto. That was fun. That's another thing we got to do. We we got to schedule the uh the, the rides, take yeah, the, the class. Course. He the did course. he did ho- he did mention to like wait until September so we don't fry. Yeah. There so we'll we'll do that. And yeah, the only thing that I'm worried about on that to be honest is he says he provides the gear and I, COVID, I, COVID. Yeah, the whole COVID and sweaty gear. I don't well, know, you man. You just have to buy the gear. Yeah, I think we should buy our gear. Bro. For sure, a good excuse <laughs> to spend some more money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What do you mean, man? And the next one so is Nate. Nate. We Nate. talked about him, so let's skip it. No, don't skip I'm it, bro. I'm kidding, don't bro. No, I, I, even though it wasn't motorcycle, you know, related, but it, he, was, he went deep. And uh, he's very knowledgeable, you know. He's informed. He's very informed. Slash woke. Yeah. Sla- hashtag woke. Hashtag woke. It's yeah, I, I think we're going to hear really soon. It was good. So, the next, the ne- so Nate's was the first episode on a series of... What we we established at the beginning that, that was going to be the introduction, right? And there's going to be three more. One about series. One about series. aliens. That's right. The next one about conspiracies and government conspiracies and stuff like that. And the next one about I forgot the third one. I, I remember the, the, the alien the drugs. Drugs. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna get me really fucking high and on mushrooms and stuff. 
Hell yeah. Or DMT I or ayahuasca. Something, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nate, Nate's podcast is really good. He's a good I, actor, too. I love how he gets so excited. Did, did you he? watch the last movie that he did? What was the name? Happy India? birthday. Chim- no, no. <laughs> Chumbi. <laughs> Chintuca Verde. Chintuca Verde? Yes. Yeah. It's good. Bro, that was... Did you watch it? I watched a little bit of it, and it's really you good. You didn't watch the whole thing? I, yeah, because... You know, I'm not a, I'm not a best reader. I have to. Use, it was a mo- oh, because <laughs> it's subtitles. It's subtitles. So. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's a movie. Like, movie. What did you say? Is I have to like stop and like I can't read that fast. Got it. Oh, that was a really good movie. But no, it's good. And but I know, I know him though. I know him. He's a he's a good he's a good actor. Yeah, that that one. I mean, I don't want to like fuck up the movie for anybody, so I'm not. But that that was really good. I think it's gonna get released to the United States uh, soon because it did so well internationally. It was an Indian film filmed in India. And, and <laughs> you know a lot of. I think it's nominated. Too. It's nominated for like some yeah, sort of it got, yeah, it got nominated. I I really really I'm pretty fucking picky with my movies, and that that was that was enjoyable. Yeah, that they did that was not that was not like cheap or fucking you know cut or yeah that no, was legit oh it was legit yeah it was legit. yeah it's, it's nice i watched the whole thing yeah not like mark but um yeah i, I, I didn't enjoy it uh but but nate is it's is crazy man he's a it's great actor most actors are they're all fucking no but, psycho. but nate, nate is nate really knows actually like i told in that episode we met and i i don't know if i told her actually uh we made and i and i left with him a week after. And then you guys. And then we fucked. No. <laughs> no, we went to Mount Mount Ad, uh, Adams. Adams. Yeah. To Oregon. see some aliens. And um I mean you can see stuff. I don't you know if they're aliens or not. What, was it a you UFO? Saw some was it an unidentified flying So object? I had this I had this app that um tells you where the flight fla- tracker, right? Flight tracker. And you were looking up. You will see lights. Well, explain what flight tracker is, real quick. It's an app that you can see what flights are passing on top of you, or you know, in the aerial. So it, it's it's like star maps where you can point at a star with your phone, and it tells you what star it is. But this one does it with flights, where you can point it at an airplane, and it'll tell you what flight number it is and where it t- took off from right. and landed. This podcast brought to you by Flight Tracker. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So you point. So you so went to the, him. Yeah, I brought the app, and I point up to every single light. And sometimes you you could hear the the noise of the plane right passing by. So you obviously point, and it's a plane. But sometimes you would see lights coming in and out of that mountain that didn't have any sound, zero sound. And you would point with your phone. There was no plane, and it was that, interesting. That's a UFO. But I, you I, saw I, it with your own eyes. Uh, yeah. And I took pictures of it yeah. with my own camera. And he has the and pictures I, of yeah. it yeah. on his own camera. Yeah, it's crazy. And and there's YouTubes. If you go to YouTube, there's people that have actually documented and gotten close where they see like a door opening and closing and a light. Like it, many people, yeah. it's, it's, it's... There's been a lot of sightings on it right now. Like Fuck, man. We Too bad we can't do Nate's uh, next episode there. It would be great. That would be fucking yeah. so oh, amazing. With the Zoom. You know... Oh. Just like a oh. if, if we can, maybe... He can, we can go with him to Joshua Tree because he does these things also in Joshua Tree. Well, Joshua Tree, what's he doing? He's doing the ayahuasca shit or he's doing no, no. the UFO? Is it open? No, he does He does the, um, it's called the CS5, I think it's called, uh, which is the, you, you basically, is the making contact with the, with the aliens. Yeah. It started by, by the person, right? Not by the aliens. Uh, um, anyway, he'll, he'll tell know. us all and about that, and it. And that's where he's going this week. No, no, I'm saying that if you wanted to record something some more interesting, maybe we could go there to record it. Yeah, I like it. Um, the next one was um, Trevor Hibbs. That fucking guy. The Trevor dude. Doug. That cocky motherfucker welder was a good one, too. I liked well, it. Yeah, it was funny because he like shit on us for writing BMWs for about, what, two hours, of, an hour and a half of conversation? Yeah, an hour and a half. And then he told yeah, us, yeah, I've been writing for th- th- two years. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. No, no, I try. I love Trevor. Trevor's a, a ball buster, and and literally, he told us. He told us from the beginning. He's all do your podcast, but I'm gonna bust your balls for riding <laughs> BMWs. Mm. But it did throw us off when he said he only had two years of riding. I was like, oh, that explains a lot. Three, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, the next one was Jeremy and Sonia. Which, which one? that's Episode good. Nineteen. Nineteen. Hold on, I'm gonna go back to Trevor. Which Trevor has some other people that he wants to bring in, and even he wants to participate in some co-hosting with his guests. So we'll probably take him up on that offer. 
Sounds good. Um, so Sonia and Jeremy. Sonia and Jeremy. Did you hear that one? That one was really good. That was uh, they were talking about the industry. That one was fun. We never laughed harder. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, think. it was it was fun to make fun of Sonia. Sonia is uh, really much. Actually, I had more fun making fun of Jeremy than anything because he was Asian. I was making fun of like, oh, you live in San Jose? <laughs> oh, bro, Daily City, your Honda Civic, right? Silver. He's like, I, I got him down, bro. I, I, I knew what school he went to, what he was driving. Yeah, because it, it was just super racist. It was super nice. racist, but it was funny. No, no, we, we, we good sport, and that was that was a fun episode. And the last one, episode 20, Vic Padilla. Vic, 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 V Twin now. now. Yeah, that one we're, we're, that one was exciting because that, that's going to open up a lot of doorways. And uh, it's also, just like the Jace one, it's going to give us um, like a new new path. Yeah. You know, like you, we're, on that one, we started setting up goals. We talked to Vic and we told them, yo, bro. Um, what 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 are you gonna start doing better? You know, he's like, I'm gonna do four, you know, three videos a, a month instead of one. I'm gonna do this many posts a day. So we kind of made him. Has he done it since then? I followed up. He was camping right <laughs> so after that no. episode, so <laughs> that, I'm gonna say negative, but uh, but I'm I'm sure he'll get it done. Yeah, nice. He's really good at that. I love his uh, his reviews on stuff and everything he does. Yeah, so so Mark, you were here by, with episode one, and now you're here on episode twenty one. What have you seen change and improve, and what would you like to see, brother? This right now, where you're listening, this mic, this whole setup, this whole studio, bro. We just started. Literally, we just set up a mic on a coffee sh- on a little coffee uh, thing, and we're like, "This is just do it. This is stock." We didn't even have a fucking table. We had one mic. It, what, I don't even know what it was. It was like a. Three men and one mic. Yeah. Sounds like a sounds like three men and one the mic. Dream of any mark out there. Yeah. Praise and words. So quality, <laughs> quality, sound, yeah, everything. The sound, the guest. Yeah, I never think that we would get All right, who do you who do you think we guest. should get next? Or or who do you want to li- who do you want to hear again and who do you think we should get next? Uh Nate. I enjoyed Nate, even though it wasn't like motorcycle. But it was it was good, you know. I well, well, what do you think about the podcast? Do you think the podcast should only be motorcycles, or do you think it'd be no. cars, or you think we should continue should the path li- that it's in? Lifestyle. I mean, from, from you can start off motorcycles, and and I think that's we're all we're all here for motorcycles. But uh, motorcycles turns into life, you know, and then and then stories, and um, you know, it, it's 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 cool to to hear someone's story. You know, and uh, I, I I like that. I like that it just kind of goes off. Conversation can just can go anywhere, and uh, that's en- that's entertaining to me. Yeah, and then you were saying you like listening to them more than watching them, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just more convenient because I'm doing stuff, and right? I'm busy and stuff like that. Yeah, one of the reasons is uh, we want to do we want to do video. We want to do more video, and yeah. not necessarily for the video aspect, but you know, you get little clips and stuff that you can promote and use in social media. So yeah. that's something. But we're just waiting for for Jaime to lose some weight, and then, <laughs> and then we'll <laughs> then we'll do. Uh, we'll, we'll um, uh, on that note, Nate Nate called me yesterday. And he's like, yeah. "Bro, I need to bring new cameras because the last time was a piece of shit." And I was like, "What the fuck, Nate?" He's like, "Yeah, bro, I got some cameras. You know, it's gonna be great." I was like, "Okay, bro, <laughs> okay." For the, so he for wants the to listeners, uh, <laughs> Robert and Jaime they always argue. So he was who's the skinnier one. We, going see, back no, we, we actually argue who's the fatter one. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be an argument though because Robert historically yeah, bro, it's always been fatter. Yeah, I just hit a rock bottom <laughs> moment when I was fatter than Robert, and Robert just is grabbing to that one. Rode the wave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's called muscle. Okay, I mean, it's exactly, called muscle. Exactly. Something you don't have any of. Exactly. This so. is what I hear when the mics are off, guys. This yeah. So no, it, it, w- it could be while the mics are on too. But but who do you so you want to hear Nate again? Yeah, uh, Nate's good. And then who do you think we should get on? Now there's so many people. Um, Come on, name them, bro. Drop them up. Put them on the spot right now. Go. I would like to hear so and so on the Right Boundless podcast. Wait a minute, don't do it yet. What? Now tell us who do you want to see? Oh man, there's so many. I, I want to listen. To, I want to get more uh, local people. You know, are, are you like guys, who? T- uh, I don't. I'm really bad with names, so. Oh, shut up. Describe them. It doesn't matter. Just describe them. We'll find them. Uh, fuck, man. Anybody who, anybody who rides, I'm, I really like people. Oh, okay. I'm a Harley guy. So anybody with a Dyna, I want to hear about their Dynas and 
their stories and what they want to do with it, where they want to go with it. Do you want to hear more about their story or about their bikes or both? Both, both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. This is not entertaining, Mark. <laughs> I thought you were going to name Rob some people. And yeah, then you'd be like, I want Rob Carpenter, which he's coming on pretty soon. I yeah. want Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Uh, Lords of Gas. Uh, what is it? Gas Town? <laughs> yeah. Something. Lords. Yeah, they're f- I, I like their gear. Yeah, Dinosaur. Their models. Oh, their models. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. I like their gear. Jaime doesn't. No, I do. Doesn't look like you do. I do, I do. Uh, who do you want to listen to, brother? You can't recall? Yeah, I can't recall. I'm trying to think of... Like, Jaime, of, who should we get? Well, I think we should get, for sure, the people who, you know, we have, um, you know... Accountability. We, we probably should get Eric, which I've been pursuing him for a little bit. Eric from Spinoza. Okay. Um, Eric or, or the father? Well... I think the father. Both, yeah. But everybody, the whole family. Yeah, they should the, come here. The right? two older brothers and the, and the dad. Like if he was a Jackson 5 and bring them all here. Yeah. Um, and then we, we could do that in generations. Start with the father first. Try to bring um, somebody from TBR, which I'm already pursuing. Shout out to TBR. TBR. I need a pipe. Probably black. Mike. I've tried to get Oh, by this. the way, I have updates on that, but I'll, I'll tell you later. Um, uh, somebody, f- uh, Mike from Memphis Shades, for sure. Memphis Shades, shout out. Memphis Shades. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, Dave, hopefully. See, it's hopefully, not that easy. Dave we'll from Lucky Days, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Especially after Vic. Vic uh, name dropped them a lot. Vic said. Uh, you know, it'd be cool to have somebody that represent Harley Davidson. Like some. Like Matt Leilon? No, someone up there. From the company. Oh, the company. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wisconsin. From Milwaukee. Milwaukee. So, Harley Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Harley Davidson. Let's get your your butts in here. Um, who else? I'm actually looking up right now. See if I can. I can. We, we got Rob Carpenter, which is going to be very exciting. I can't wait. Have you seen Rob Carpenter? One Wheel Revolution. Yeah, that, that guy's a fucking monster. I really want to get him in before before it's just too late. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, <laughs> just before it's just too late. Before, I, <laughs> before he gets in too many other podcasts or something and I can't yeah, get yeah. a hold of him. But uh, we really have to do that soon. I sent them out a mic. I sent them out some ride clean and um, he got it. He got it yesterday. Maybe he got, hopefully well, the tracking. he got them separate. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Um, there's, uh, there's these two guys that, uh, that I've been following for a while. They're called Dyna, Dyna Demos. You guys heard of them? Nope. Dyna what? Dyna Demos. They have a channel on... Uh, Demons or Demos? Demos. They have a, a YouTube YouTube channel and they pretty much have their their startup Dyna and they, they build it up and everything. Are they local? Yeah, one of them just recently moved to San Diego. So he's like military or something. But they're cool guys. Oh, well, fucking perfect, man. Military, 100%. Just say military and, and it's done. You know, uh, yeah. you know them or no? I don't, but I follow them. I follow them. You oh. know be cool? Dy- Dy- Dynamite crew. Oh, yeah, it will be. But Dynamite um, crew would be good. Cool. Yeah, we're be. supposed to get Manic. I know one of the Manic guys. Soon. Um, warm. 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 Nice, yeah. Warm? The magician. Warm. The magician? Yeah. Do you know he, what he just released today? Uh, no. He's uh, going uh, to be a millionaire, dude. bro. He just released a magic trick that you will shit in your pants. Yeah. He does some crazy. He came no, when I was in the hospital. But he released some fucking he new made it. software oh. that he made. And this shit's fucking insane. I don't even want to talk about it until I get him on here. No, no. You it's get, so yeah. insane that let me tell you something. He made a promo video. I clicked on the link and purchased it. Really? Like I was like, I, Whoa. Is it like some Listen, sort of I saw software? this. He did he he did it's the trick. S- yeah. He did the trick to me. Before he sold me the the promo video, okay, and I was like, "Man, if you've done this, you're gonna end up in prison." I doubt. I highly doubt that this is legal. I mean, it's so fucked up that it's it's probably not legal, but it's passed every single Apple uh, reviews, and now you can buy it on the Apple Store, which is insane because so it's an app. It's it's something like that, but bro, yeah, it's okay. we can't talk about it until we get them on. But you, you don't understand. Like I've created apps, or I've had apps created, yeah. and I've submitted it to the app store. And I created this one app that it's an alarm that you turn on. Like if you put your phone down, if you're gonna take a shower, you, you turn on your alarm. Okay. And if your wife or anybody picks up your phone without disarming the the alarm, the alarm goes off. It goes beep 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 beep. Okay. So you get out of the shower like, hey, Don't the touch fuck my are phone. you doing with my phone? Yeah. 
I made it for a friend. Oh, good for <laughs> <laughs> right. I made it for a friend, right? But I submitted it to the app store, and they were like, "No, it's flagged. You you can't you can't do that." And I was like, "I can't do what?" They're like, "You can't." We support women. <laughs> they're all you can't create an app that has uh that that makes a sound while the screen's off. You know, only music apps are allowed to do that. Like that's like that's how picky and complex they are. Oh, yeah. And this worm thing is is a proof through Apple is insane because that's that's a six week process too. Well, six weeks. He he was for months uh, getting this truck, and then no 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 just to sum, just to submit oh, yeah, it to yeah, Apple. Yeah. yeah yeah no he was months waiting for this. He's been working on this for a long time, uh, and he's mind blowing what this uh, what this app does. By the way, worm is a, is a person. He's a, he's a guy. He's one of our friends. He rides with us. He's a he's just a mu- music musician. Magician. A magician. Magician. Yeah. Just so people. It's a wizard. People. It's a wizard. Yeah, he's a wizard. He's a cool guy. He's from yeah. Uh, he's, from he's fucking Florida? strange. Yeah. He's so fucking Florida. He's one hundred. <laughs> <He's laughs> he is. If you look up a Florida man he's so up, him, on the right? dictionary, that's him right there. That's you know, him. and that and, and he's strange, but you fucking gotta love him, man. Yeah. He's yeah, cool. Yeah. He. You know. He's super cool. He's he's always blowing your mind away. Yeah, he can he can ride the shit out of his uh, sports. Team. And it's it's funny, man, because I, I I'm, I'm we're gonna get him on, but I got to bust his balls. Like having dinner with him is such a distraction because you're just trying to eat. <laughs> He's making your uh, food disappear, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> your fork disappear. You're like, yo, man, I'm fuck trying to eat. <laughs> pulls out coins out of your ass. Like, what, the yeah. what the fuck, bro? Leave me the fuck alone, man. <laughs> and then he Ooh. yesterday he was there. And he was like, oh, I, I don't, I don't like to perform. I hate performing. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> are you fucking, fucking kidding me? Everywhere, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, you perform when nobody asks you. you perform. Bro, <laughs> every time he says, I don't like to perform, I'm fucking missing a twenty dollar bill out of my pocket. <laughs> yeah, <but> I. <laughs> I, I love I, my I underwear know, ace card i don't know if you guys follow his instagram warm tv uh but it's fucking amazing when he goes to the middle of america and he tricks a middle, middle of, of america, america people. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. i haven't seen that bro you got me all confused <laughs> i'm confused now <laughs> that's that's uh so that's hyman's amazing. southern accent right there no yeah. i don't know how to do that but <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <wee. laughs> mark what are you doing brother I'm looking at people we can uh no, no stay focused fuck that sorry i'm sorry we're past that you want to talk a little bit about your what what well, happened actually, to I'm not you sure what i could say but for people who know me i've had an uh i got a motorcycle accident and so um, i'm still dealing with it. it's been 10 months i'm still dealing with it i think you can openly tell the facts you know yeah uh, so what, what happened i was stuff. um I'll, I'll, i will say before you continue yeah I always tell everybody 90% of motorcycle accidents are rider error. For you, sure. 90%. You, you do say that, right? All, All the, the fucking time. How many episodes has it been? It's been 20 times. For 20, 20, 20 episodes. Times. 20 times. And, and that 10% window, I swear, it's you and, and one of my mechanics that I had at Van Nuys Harley yeah. are the only two accidents that I heard that were just... I mean, so fucking weird and insane that it had nothing to do with you. Yeah. And that's, I, I, I mean, this bottom of my heart. It, like, you talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So, if people don't know, I uh, I had a motorcycle accident about 10 months ago in September. Uh, I was on my way to work early morning, and um, I just, I hit an object in the freeway that I just did not see. It was, uh, it was really dark, and uh, that moment definitely changed my life. Um, but I'm glad to be alive. And I'm glad to have people like you guys that support me and friends and family. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a crazy journey since the moment that happened and everything. But luckily, I have everything just kind of lined up, you know, paying your insurance and all that stuff. Everything just kicked in how it's supposed to, and I've been grateful enough to to to, to be okay. Yeah. So I'm no, and then the cool thing is you're, you're such a legit dude that. You know, you had everything in order. You had your employment. You had your work. You had your responsibilities. You had yeah. your phone in your hand right now, Sorry. checking your text. They, 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 like you, you were taking care of the right way, which people could have taken advantage of it and, and cut it short. But you yeah, know, luckily with with a good team of people, you know, you were protected. Yeah, uh, yeah I had all a, around. A, uh, I want to say a life changing accident i mean uh i s- severely destroyed my ankle um but i'm good now i'm walking s- somewhat um and i'm dealing with with a couple of things that 
that I had to deal with. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, man. Um, it was, uh, it's been again, like it's a crazy journey. Um, and I'm just kind of glad to be alive. Would I ever write again? <clears throat> At the moment, it's not, it's not on top of my head, but I do have this soft, you know, uh, I, like love that I can never go away from where I go. So I think in the, in the future, I think I would write again for sure. Yeah. Just not anytime, and not anytime soon. I'm worried about walking again. R- remembering this, it does remind me that we do have to bring over also um, Shelby or Chuck. You know, from yeah, from it, um, did, hel- it did help Russ you a Brown. lot. Russ Brown, yeah, Russ Brown for sure came through. Also, I want to talk about uh, equipment, riding with the proper equipment. I was lucky to to be wearing boots at the time. Which boots were you wearing? I was wearing some thorough thorough goods, uh, just working boots. But man, those boots, even though they were, you know, tore up, that's it saved my foot, you know, for any 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 more damage for sure. So and then uh, you know I had some decent pants and and I had the Los Pepes vest, which you can get at Los yeah. Pepes dot com. Los Pepes dot com. It's a great jacket. It's one of my favorite jackets. Which you haven't gone to pick up in the hospital. Well, I mean, <laughs> it was torn up. It was, was you it? Know, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I they slid across, across the fucking field. Oh, yeah, okay. What uh, what helmet did you have? Uh, the Shoei, the twelve hundred. Probably saved my life too, for yeah. sure. The great helmet. Um, yeah, it, it's it did it, it did its job. It definitely hit it, did its job. It didn't crack or anything, so I was good. Gloves. Uh, gloves. Some. I think I was wearing. I don't even remember. I think I was just thrushing? wearing some leather gloves. Or thrushing, I think. Yeah. No, they weren't. They were leather gloves. They yeah. had protective. Yeah. So what I want to say, people will ride, wear your protection. Like at least boots or some nice gloves, you know, and and a helmet, full face helmet. Because uh, if I was wearing a, like a three quarter or half, man, my face would have been smashed in. Because my, my helmet, the front of it, the, the, the shield, like it just broke off. It just like shattered and all the whole chin of the helmet was like, Scratch, scratch. That would have been my face. I don't know. Sure. Can, can we talk about your accident or no? Just to describe it, because that, like I said, it, it's it, it was just to me, it was like a freak accident. Yeah, it was just it was just a fucking. I think so. Yeah, I think uh, it's just the facts. I mean, it's, it's just the facts right now. Yeah. So so basically, you, you were going to work at three thirty. Yeah, three forty five. Three forty five. You're I, going to work for a clock in at four in the morning. So you're riding down the one seventy, which well, has very poor lighting. Yeah, it's really bad. And then I, I like to like exaggerate the story, not exaggerate, but just to get crazier. Previously to you heading out, a yeah. truck lost a tire, I lost an axle, or or lost an axle. Well, it's this is again, this is not exaggerating. This is the facts, right? Right. These are facts. Yes. Uh, so a semi truck um, axle broke off, and it broke off where from the, the trailer, right? From the trailer, yeah. So one of the on the opposite side of the freeway. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. And so that that wheel was like just flung fling off, and they started bouncing everywhere. So, fact from the police, that tire got hit by a car that was behind the truck. That car got fucked up. The right. tire flew over to the other side. Correct. Then it was just on the number f- uh, one lane, fast lane. Oh, yeah, yeah, the number one. Fast lane, yeah. So the tire was there. A BMW SUV or car hit it. Hit it right. Right, and then they were pulled over to the side, and then like whatever, fifteen twenty minutes later, you're on the number two lane, so going to work, going to work, and then you Normal just speed. There, there was a car in front of you. You switched lanes, yep, and right because the one hundred one and the one hundred seventy were merging, yep. So you get on the number one lane, mm-hmm. and as you go there, the tire's just there, and you described it. Well, like it's not a tire; it's a whole wheel with the br- right. It's with a the rim. Two hundred and fifty pound semi, truck tire, semi double, truck, it, double it took, wheel, double rim. Oh, it was this double rim. rim. The double yeah, rim. Yeah, it's the double w- oh, rim metal. Oh, I didn't so know that. It wasn't just one. It was the double stacked up. You know, that's so it, why it looked like a flower that's why pot. One and end. that's why the cop said it took like two, three officers to move it. Yeah. Bro, that's goosebumps. I didn't know that part. It was a, it was a double fucking. It was it was huge. And when I remember when I, the last moment Whoa. I saw it. Yeah, it looked like a flower, a flower plant. And I was like, what the fuck? And then boom. like the, as, the, as soon as I said, what the, and then. It was over. like an explosion, uh, and and then I remember just being flung, just like violently, 
and trying to catch me from rolling as I was like on the freeway. So it was, I was just, I, I think I flew like a hundred yards. I don't know. It was like forever. And then, uh, you slid forever. I slid right? and yeah. I tumbled. And yeah, once I was able to catch myself from tumbling, I just like, I knew that my leg was damaged. So I just started crawling towards the center divider because I didn't want to get hit by a car because I know there was cars behind me. So I was like, oh shit. And I just kicked in. I didn't even think twice about it. Then when I got to the center divider, I felt the pain like crazy, like holy shit. I looked down and my boot is like split open on my left side. And I have scratches all over my arm and my whole body's aching. And I'm like, shit, dude. And like all these thoughts run through your mind, you know? And I think the first thing is like, shit, I'm going to be late for work, you know? And then yeah. the second is like, fuck my bike. I just, I just cleaned it the day With before. With right clean, right? With the right clean, yeah. Uh, and I always kept my shit so clean. And so I was like, no, my bike. I hope it's okay, you know? Oh, that's fucking how and it so, is. Uh, yeah, and then. And then luckily people behind me stopped and called 911. Within 20 minutes, I was in like, I was at the hospital. It was like so fast. Really? That's yeah. so fucking amazing. I thought you yeah. said it took them like 20 minutes to get out there and everything else. No, it was like instantly. Like there was like, because I think they were hanging around because of the accidents before. Yeah. So they were close. Her ambulance were close. So yeah, they got there super fast and, and uh, they just tore up all my clothes. And You were naked and cold, naked and afraid. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. And, uh, yeah, and then and then I was in the hospital for about a, a month, surgeries and all kinds of stuff. They were, you know, talking about cutting my foot off, stuff like that. But I still got my foot, barely, and, uh, yeah. It's just like hanging off like a little, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not hanging. <laughs> it's not. But, yeah, I lost I lost a lot of uh, skin and, and uh, some bone, actually. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that until recently, but some bone and shattered ankle all that stuff it's pretty crazy, it's crazy i never thing. had an accident before this too this is my this is my first accident yeah uh, well, you, been, you've been riding one for three years three years three years yeah. sorry with the sports sir just like anybody else six months later i got to dinah and then i was just blowing money <laughs> i just i fixed everything on that thing i think uh i wanted to do the engine upgrade and then like aluminum swing arm but yeah man it was uh it's just one of those you like had to be there, you know. You had to like. That, that's what I'm saying. It, it was all one these of, things had to fall in place. It, it, and it, it was like, one fuck. of those freak accidents, and, yeah. and that 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 was the ten percent of of you know people that that happened to. This is a, this is like going through the whole process with you. He's created me like a, I'm not gonna say I wear you know the right gear, but I did. The, the the clear water purchase made it I super swear, clear, super clear. I man. swear that I was gonna make a comment on that, and I didn't want to make it sound like an ad or something. No, it's not. It's not. But, but you but know, every at night when I don't see the road, I flash the. I know it's a lot, and I know it's, it's bothers, overkill, bro. I it's bother so much. Yeah. It yeah. bothers a lot of cars, but I'm just doing it. I'm not. I'm not going through one minute without seeing the floor. There's for no sure. way. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, the the clear the clear waters. I swear, I was gonna say it was overkill. You know, twenty thousand looms on a motorcycle is is it's more than a car. Yeah, you know, but it, it lights up fucking everything. And that that was one of the best reasons for the purchase is because of your situation. You yeah, know? and you actually had a lot of extra lights on your bike too. I did. Yeah, I did have some. Uh, you had lights. additional LEDs. Yeah. You had the high. You had you had the high def. def no, he, uh, I had some side ones on my... Yeah, uh, you had Amazon stuff, right? Yeah, it nothing wasn't... specific. Or it was nothing yeah, special. It was just a little... I just pour it at the ground. You know? Which yeah. is already more than any Dyna usually have. For sure, yeah, yeah. But And uh, you had the LED bar. I had the LED bar. And then you had your, your headlamp. Headlamp, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's still pretty... I mean, that's twice as much as most Dynas, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, lighting is very important, for sure. Maybe... I mean, I, I, I still think I wouldn't have seen it. Even if I did, I wouldn't have time to react. It was like so. It was so quick. It was so quick, man. It was like, uh, yeah, it was just like a blimp. Like I was like, what the hell just happened? You know. Uh, it, it kind of reminds me like one time I a bird. I was riding and a bird. I almost decked the bird like out of nowhere. It was just cruising along, nothing, you know, out of out of the ordinary. 
all of a sudden a bird always like just swings around like right in front of me and i'm like holy shit i almost take that fucking bird so yeah things just can just happen uh you, you, you may be that i was and i was a good writer i didn't have any accidents some close calls nothing crazy uh, i would push it only when i would feel and uh, like in the just canyons, like the canyon the canyons stuff. And stuff like that and that's you know the weekend warrior stuff but for yeah. your work yeah i would just go to work cruising and, and the reason i rode to work is the traffic it was terrible so and and I'm, I'm a driver so i would drive all day so the last thing i want to do going home is be in traffic so. after driving all day yeah. that makes sense so i would just just ride to work it was much easier and there's like no more traffic anymore oh i know it's but it's starting to build up. It's so weird. I was certain, thinking certain. about on the way here. I was thinking this ride used to be a miserable uh, from my house to yours. Oh, yeah. especially it at would, this time. Yeah, it would tell me right. you have an hour, ten minutes, and I'll be like, I'm not going. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make up something. It's like 18 miles or something. Yeah, yeah 15, 20 miles. And it takes an hour, take, hour yeah. plus. For sure, it's crazy. And the people are, are speeding. They're going nuts. Yeah, the speeding thing is um is pissing me off. And and I know I've I said this before. I hate saying that I said this before because I said that. <laughs> and before. and also you don't care, so you keep say saying it. it. <laughs> and then I yeah I did I, I disregard it. But there's new listeners all the time. The um the amount of people that are fucking. What happens is is when people start driving faster, their fucking patience is even less. And right. now it's like you know somebody's going fast and then i'll try to pass them up then they think i'm racing them and i'm not racing them then i'll like back away but then like five other cars behind me start passing me up and i'm like what the fuck's going on here yeah like people are really being fucking shitty shitty and usually there was a time where i'd get mad at cars like oh fuck you you know yeah me too but the problem is is that i i think people are fucking so crazy right now that i don't even want to like like they're in a car well think about it like you right said. car versus no, motorcycle no. Since episode four, right? You said COVID started. It's been sixteen weeks of people trapped in their houses, and it's it seems much longer. It seems like forever. Like this is never going to end, and probably it's going to take a while. I think. Oh, this is definitely. Gonna so it's going to take, gonna take a, a long time. This is going to take fucking a year, at or least more. two years. I think. At well, least. offices are starting to sell their buildings. Yeah, so nobody's going back to the office. Yeah, this uh, this next two weeks are like crucial. People are gonna start. They haven't had anything passed, or people are gonna extend their uh, unemployment six hundred dollars extra dollars a month a week. That's gonna be you know they haven't extended. Right? They haven't extended. It. So you know people who are unemployed, they're gonna gonna not have enough. I think, and also uh, the whole freeze uh, evictions that's gonna be lifted uh, lifted too. So it's like fuck. It's like a big wave coming. So think about that. If people haven't paid their rent, which a lot, ha- which a lot, lot of people haven't, a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's a free ride." They don't pay their fucking rent. It keeps, you know, accumulating. Just accumulating. Yeah. You, there's no. So free now, rent when day. they open that up, I mean, there's still going to be a court process and everything it's else. Be but a it's mess. like, fuck, you're, you're you're four months behind. You know, have you, you have you guys driven through um, Echo Park? Yeah, it is a camping. Bro, area. have you oh, driven yeah. right here down the street? Well, down the street is fine because it's no, the no, street, but no, no, it's no, a park. No, no, there's a parking lot right here. Oh, no, I haven't seen it. Oh, bro, when when you go right now and, and get on Coenga right here, you, you, where you make that right to get onto the freeway, uh-huh. look to your right, man. It's a fucking cat. It looks like a movie scene. Homeless, fucking RVs, tents, fucking insane. I could imagine yeah. just like Echo Park. Actually, I, I went by Echo Park. Echo Park ago. looks like, uh, if you go after like 8 p- 7 p.m., it looks like it's a camping uh, spot. It, it's always kind of been like that, but it's like grown two times. And, but you see it and it looks beautiful because you don't see the tents at the beginning and you only see those, you know, those the water boats. fountains. You no, know, the boats that are light up and people are just like yeah. doing that at night and stuff. No, uh, and then you, you pay attention. To, uh, downtown? Oh yeah, that's oh, crazy. Oh it's crazy. God, it's like man. it's like a ghost town. They're walking it. It's, it's like no, but is. there's areas like Boyle Street right there, man. Fuck, that's the Walking Dead. They've, it's exten- cool. they've extended Skid Row like four ro- four four blocks in each direction. Yeah, it's fucking. There's pe- there's zombies walking on the streets, bro. Like legit. <laughs> you do have like, to be really careful because if because they do cross the street without looking, or oh, yeah. they don't stop for you. If you hit, they want to get hit, man. Yeah. Yeah. They want to get for hit. Sure. They're 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 over it. They're done. And and like I, I I go to the packaging 
area district over there. Jesus, it's crazy. Yeah, no. Jesus, um, <laughs> it's fucking. I've had a, so too, too much. Two friends that live downtown or near downtown, like you know, close. They they moved out. They're like, this is this is no longer what it was. Kind of hip, you know. Downtown was kind of becoming the for new. a little small window because it was shit before and now. Yeah, and it, so, it was cleaning up. Yeah, there was some you know some some places some good restaurants opening up stuff like that, and then shit the fucking riots hit. And then it just got, it just got bad. Melrose, Melrose is a ghost town. Yeah. Oh man, it's like five businesses closed and then one half open. Yeah. And then another five closed and then Ashes is open. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ash. <laughs> Shout out to Ash. If, you're, if your yeah, iPhone's Ash broken, will never listen to this no, right. <laughs> yeah, ever. But um, was it, he on War- World Star? Um, I saw a video and I swore. Like, there on was what? Like, on, on World Star. Poker? No, the World Star. Yeah, like World Star. The there's a bunch of videos of like random shit that people do all over the world. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you saying? World Star. What is that? Oh my god, you guys. Anyway, so it's like. Uh, are you 21 and did chess anything new? No, or? I mean I thought everybody knew about World Star. Everyone when someone like does fight going on, they yell, "Oh shit, World Star!" Really? really? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, man, I you're old. Some man. listeners yeah, are going to be like, these two don't, don't know. Make okay, me feel what, like is it, what is it? What is it? What is it? Anyway, it's just a so website. It's, it, it's like a, it's like the citizen app. Like when they see a crime, it's no, just no, pop- no. It's a, it's a website where they're. Um, I don't know who's in charge of it, but it's just all these random videos of like random shit happening around the world. The fights, uh, incidents, accidents. You guys, it's like crazy stuff. Some do they have? Um, I know. Real, I know. Do they have real Persian guards? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very predictive, my brother. No, I, I'm well, serious. You have to, bro. He was pretty captain of yeah. I have to show these guys. Star. Star. <laughs> world star. No, I, I didn't. I didn't know about this world, world star. star. So it's a website. Uh, so it's like a YouTube of weird shit. Kind, yeah. Is it live or pre-recorded? They're all like, they just like re. Stuff repost. that's repost, yeah. They're they're not like promoting stuff, and I think maybe they are. I don't know. They do some stuff with the rappers, but um, yeah. I thought you guys know. So, Anyways, so, so I saw you, a video. You saw Ash. I saw I saw a video, and I saw it was Ash store. Ash's store inside of it. This girl was like flipping out, throwing shit, grabbing the iPhone. Oh, really? Yeah, I really. I, I'm, I'll show it to you after. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Now I, I meant to call him and ask him see if that was him, but something going in the way or something. Yeah. Life. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I thought. Uh, yeah, I thought. Look, you guys ever seen World Star? No. Oh, it, oh, it's, it's an, an Instagram account page? on Instagram. It's well, an Instagram page. I mean, yeah, they have an it's Instagram an account. They also, they also have a website too. And and the contents on the website. Yes, but or on their Instagram. But you only on see both. it on Instagram. On on the Instagram. Oh, okay. Got it. That makes more sense. Yeah, that so was the terrible a, explanation. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. This so it just shows. Yeah. And one of the videos is in, in Ash's store? Yeah, I'll show it to you. That's not it. What is it? Okay. Nothing. Some guy that has his girlfriend's ass in his <laughs> face as he does exercises like, that's not sexual other than... That's what I'm saying. Robert. It's like <laughs> random <laughs> shit. It's like random stupid stuff. Other than sexual. Yeah. And fights. And stuff. To go dinner. <laughs> he has some to go dinner. Yeah. Um. So Hold recovery. On. Yeah, so yeah, I'm still recovering. Going to physical therapy and stuff like that. And I'm still dealing with my, my injuries and I have to like learn to live with the injury. So I have to like basically re- relearn how to walk. I lost a lot of uh uh degrees in my foot, so it's no no longer a normal foot. It's kinda like a stub, you know? So yeah, I'm just it's a kinda, full foot, it's just acting or walking like a stub is what you meant. Yeah. So I'm just kind of learning how to. I, you I, might. I could just imagine what listeners are thinking. They're just yeah. thinking like a little like piece of chicken <laughs> wing. <laughs> it's just fucking hanging around. I, that's how just, it feels like. No, he, he he's normal. He's got both legs, both feet, both everything. He's walking with crutches because it's recommended, even though he can walk without it. But yeah. you always have your crutches, yeah. which is important. And you're still in that surgery, heal, heal, surgery, surgery, heal. Yeah. And yeah you might much. have come in another surgery, right? Yeah, because of the... Because they, they replaced skin. So I lost a lot of, I lost my heel, basically. So they replaced it with skin from another area. But the problem with your heel 
It's very spark, very special part of your body that you can can't re re get recreate recreate from anywhere. Uh, so it's like a special tissue down there with a lot of fat and stuff like that. So I lost a lot of that. So they re- replaced it with with just regular skin. So the skin is not it's not made to uh, to absorb all that pressure, which some of you guys know. I'm a big dude. You could so. say you could say it that way. <laughs> we all know. So uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just kind of dealing with it, you know. And the doctor told me this was gonna happen, so. Bro, you're dealing you're dealing with it like a champ. Uh, we've seen you from the beginning. We've seen you now. You're dealing like this with a champ, bro. For and sure. what you've done, I don't think many people could do. It's been yeah, very yeah. difficult. This injury has taught me a lot, like so much. It's humbled me. It's uh, shown me who are my real friends are. Um, which shout out to everybody who's. Who's been around? Who's been Shout around? Out. Say some names, man. You know, yeah, exactly. It's not. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> repeat exactly what I said at the beginning, at the first episode. Shout out is when you actually define who you're shouting out <laughs> for. <laughs> yeah, just everybody who's helped me, man. Family, friends, people who always, you know, message me, see how I'm doing. You know, because after a while, you know, you you know somebody gets hurt, right? And then you just kind of like don't follow up, you know. But some people do, so I really appreciate that. And. um yeah, but yeah, I went through some dark, dark places, man. Because imagining, imagine not walking for six months, laying in bed, you can't do nothing. Like you just, you know, you start losing your mind a little bit. So I think I lost it like twice. But I'm good. I'm I'm glad to have people around me, friends and family, always supporting me, pushing me. Yeah. So I'm telling you, brother, you're you're so blessed because. Yeah, I anybody imagine. anybody else wouldn't have the right insurance coverage. Doesn't have a legit job. Doesn't have workman's comp. Doesn't have this. Yeah. Anybody else riding at three thirty is not going to work like you. You know, they're coming out from a bar. They're coming like anything. Yeah, and any like, I'm telling you, you change just that person, and fuck, man, it could have been a shit show just for anybody. For and, sure. and le- you know, luckily. You're super legit. You're super responsible. Yeah. And and oh man, it it sucks, bro. But you're handling it really fucking good. Yeah. I'm proud of you. We're all sure, proud of you. you. And fucking anything you need. And and I gotta you know sh- I gotta give a shout out to you because oh, because uh, bro, you you were here on the first episode, man. Yeah. I I want to take credit. I told Robert Robert because we talked about this for. What, I, I had I, I had this I had this this vision of doing this. Po- I was supposed to launch this podcast in like 2012 or 2014. I don't remember. I had a little built up studio just like this, and I told Mark, and then Mark said, "Do it, yes, do it, bro." And we're both fans of like podcasts, so I think I was like, "Robert, you have the voice. You have a voice of uh, what? What voice? That voice right there." Jaime, shut up. You don't have you have a terrible voice. I didn't say anything, bro. Jaime hates his voice <laughs> more than anybody. A lot of people do. I was like, ah <laughs> every time I hear And I was like, Robert, dude, just fucking set up the mic. And he's like, Yeah, all right, you know, I'll do it. And, and you, then, you said uh, it a few times. Well, let's just, we, let's just clarify. I hate my voice speaking. Yeah, that's yeah, that's very we clear because <laughs> we all do. <laughs> singing very, singing, I don't. Ah, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Ah, hand. There it's it is. weird. Mic drop. Yeah. Uh, Jaime can sing. He, it's it's weird. the weirdest. It's the fucking if, weirdest thing. If if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about this guy doesn't know how to speak English to first class singer. I I, I <laughs> there, there's not even a middle point, bro. <laughs> like you go from no speak of English to fucking superstar celebrity. Yeah. That's insane. Like. Just, turns on like straight out it's a fucking better than adele like get get the fuck out of here it's crazy he's he's blushing so much right now and then he's just yeah it gets on the mic and it becomes a different like what the hell all of a sudden his words are crystal clear (laughs) it's goddish it's like i should leave a a musical right yeah she just sing did you ever do karaoke at at, 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 uh what you call it barney's beanery no oh he will never go to places like that no what is it no this guy's it's a bar. No, yeah, that's true. It, it's it's a bar that I used to go back, 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 back in the days, We're and like times. legitimately, it'd be like the American Idol singers or the Voice singers. Oh, they would no. go there do karaoke, and they, bro, they, they, I would never even step to the mic. No, there. but I, but I have, I have seen in New York in BB King's 
which Aretha Franklin has seen there, Jackson 5, Prince, a bunch of people. Bro, you should just talk nice. singing. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also in, Don, in um, I think it's called Don't Tell Mama, which all the Broadway singers go sing after, you know, their shows. Yeah. And I've seen there too. Check each other. Colin, Colin wishes he could sing like you. I don't I, know. I mean, I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I, think I, I wish I could sing like that. Yeah, no, we're talking about Colin, Mark. Oh, yeah. Colin. Yeah, no, I don't want to be like Colin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you, Colin. Um, good, all right, man. So now we got to continue this journey uh, of podcasting. And yes, you were one of the people, the person that said, just fucking just do it, just do it man. We came back from a, a bomb ass sushi uh, dinner. Was yeah. that the day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, went to have, we went to have uh sushi. Came home and then we're like, we were. St- I think we were talking and then I was like, dude, just set the mic up, just just do it, just talk. And as many of you just heard in episode one, and I think I sounded like an idiot. There you go. Yeah, I that think we. Did, I think we did that. And I took, I think I took the files. We gotta go back. You gotta eat that again, man. That's just a bomb. That's so good. Yeah, that's not good. I I took the files with me, and I go home, and I started doing episode one. Yeah, and. And that's what Cassidy saw me working on it, my wife. Mm-hmm. And she, she said, heard you working on it. And she said, do not start any other projects. <laughs> so immediately I called Colin. I said, I mean, I called Robert. And I said, Robert, do you want to be partners on this? <laughs> and and this is it. Yeah, no, it's been great, guys. I, I enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, and, and the pictures and the photography and the editing that Jaime has been doing is fucking insane. It's great. No, he's really good at that. Um, Very editing much so. all that stuff. There's some ideas where I'm like, I don't know, I mean, but you know. Well, that's not editing. Yeah. That's ideas. <laughs> that's ideas. <laughs> yeah, but the podcast has been it's been great, man, and I and I'm, I can't wait to see where it goes, and and uh, I enjoy it very much. Yeah, bro, we're 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 super excited. I I think it came along very well. Uh, we have some exciting guests coming in. We have some trips planned. We have some adventures. We have a whole fucking another project that's going to help ride clean, not ride clean, ride balance, grow. So I, I just want to thanks, you know, give a shout out and thanks to <laughs> all of you, all the listeners, and uh, I appreciate the support. Um, just the other day, we got a post from Australia, and it was cool because we oh, did yeah. we did Fast Life Garage, we did Matt Laidlaw, and then there was us. And this guy shot out the best motorcycle podcast, you know, are these three. So that was fucking cool. Even though oh, he yeah, spelt, yeah, he spelt right wrong, but it's all good. <laughs> Australia, man. It's all good, brother. He had the right hashtag. I appreciate that. But uh, thank you to all the listeners, all the supporters. Um, episode 21 and the next 20 are going to be fire. I'm so excited for, for sure. the next one. Yeah. The next one, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to bring popcorn and I'm just going to watch it because it's Nate. Talking about aliens for hours. Yeah. We're going to have to do it. It's yeah. going to be competing with the Lord of the Rings, basically, length. Well, don't we, go we, too far. Yeah. No, no we're, we're, we're going to go. We're gonna yeah, go we're deep. not going to cut him off. Bro. We're not going to cut him off. And uh, Rob Carpenter's coming up next soon, very yeah. soon. Not next, but he's coming up very soon. We're getting Noah and his wife again. Um, we got some other actors that we're going to be on. So it's, yeah. it's going to be. I want to see some riders, too. We're going to get some riders, some dinos, some, some stunt people. Yeah. Mark, where can people find you? Uh, on Instagram, Mark Hollywood, Mark, Mark Pineda. <laughs> uh, I mean, I live in Hollywood. Uh, Mark Pineda, uh, one word. Uh, I really haven't posted anything since my accident, so. Uh, but I, I'm on there. I, you know, I'm looking at people's things. So, but you can follow me if you want. Nice. Yeah. Cool, brother. But uh, yeah, like I like to say thanks everybody who's. Uh, been there for me and supporting me and going through all this process it's been it's been crazy and one one thing i can give advice everybody please wear your safety gear when you're riding um you know prepare yourself to fall for sure i know we i used to always wear shirts you know and uh, i was like yeah i'll take it i don't care nah wear something protective for sure because it hurts it hurts a lot when you go down even if it was 30 miles an hour you know jaime can speak of that Right, recently. No, I don't know. Um, so <laughs> bro, you you can you can drop a bike at a full stop oh, and get and hurt. It fucking hurts, yeah. And get hurt, yeah. So one question I ask everyone that I haven't asked you even in the first episode: No money exists. Which bike do you get? 
Money is no, no problem. Damn. Which bike would you get? And what would you do to it? I think I would get the new Loretta S. That's money. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's just my style. I, I wish people could see Jaime's face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what? Hashtag, like, it's not dream. about it's not, look. It's not Hashtag about dream how big. You know, I, I mean, I would, I feel like it'd be cool to have one of those arch bikes. You know, but then what it's about like, like the coast glides or something like that? It's just not my style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my yeah. style is like the, the coast glide. Is not your style? No. Ooh, okay. Mark and Milo are gonna get pissed. Marco, Mark, Marco, 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 Milo are gonna get pissed at you. Ooh. They know. They know where you live. No, that's fine. But here's the thing: everybody has their own taste. Taste and. Uh, I, I, so I you would really, still go back to club style? Of course, yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I love the club style look. A hundred percent or one percent? Uh, did I say one? No, I don't 100%. know. Just saying. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, I just, I just like that style. And look, I love the BMWs too. They're, I know they're great. I know their technology is fucking okay. 10 times one better. second, one second. So you like, you like the ro- the the low Bro, It's his choice. Would you go? Would you go? I know. Would you go? Old club style, dark mode. Or would you go Jerry mode, uh, the light mode? I would go dark. You would go I, dark. I just like black. Yeah, I, I'm just kind of falling with everybody else. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely. I, I actually wanted to say that the the whole club style, I, and I I love like the look of it, and it's become. First, I think it was just a style. Then it's become like a performance style. You know, where you take well, performance the, companies came in and made it more into performance for sure. And then you know, baggers are are right there with them. And so um, I've been doubting lately if I uh, change my Dyna for a a road glide special. A road glide special. Yeah. I know. You know, it's funny that you say that because I was just thinking about. I swear, I was on my way over here. I was getting gas, and I don't know why. I was like, "What? You'll trade in your fucking Dyna, and you'll only have a ten thousand dollar balance?" No, even less than that now. Really, bro? I traded in my Dyna and I had a fucking twenty three thousand dollar. There's people who know how to do things. There's people who doesn't. Uh, so I do know how to do things. I guess, that's bro. It. I, I think that'd be an amazing deal. It will yeah. be. That's the, the only thing. But then I end up with two touring bikes. I have the BMW with with the cases. You'd be just like me, which you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the only other thing that I, 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 I we'll get back to your point, but the other yeah. thing that I really, skinnier. really, really wish, um, you then Mark, yeah, but not me, <laughs> um, is I really wish they, they had a better way of putting T bars. I really wish I would have gotten T bars on my street glide, but the problem I with that is it covers the fucking screen. Yeah. I mean, there's ways you can mount your, but if you really like thing. performance, you don't care about your score. Oh, shit. Bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's Snap there. It the gym, it's still going to be there. It's just, oh, yeah. It's going to be blocked. You're just not going to see it. It's not going to see it. Yeah, that's retarded. Which, it's not feng shui, You only bro. have it for the stereo, correct? I mean, No, I used music. the fuck out of the GPS. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a full fucking colored, amazing 3D map by Harley Davidson GPS system that's fucking amazing. Yeah. When I pass by a park, it shows it's a park with trees and shit. What kind of trees? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of trees? Kind of <laughs> bird, no, if the bird park watching, has palm trees. Bird watching tree tips. Yeah. <laughs> it shows the birds and shit and the flowers and the bees. No, it, it's 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 Homeless. it's a nice fucking screen. I like you better I know many Harley. people cover it up, but I, I think that's just I, I mean you just get the the, the standard the, the standard. Yeah. 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 So you can get the I don't even want to know about your What deal. about you guys? What about you, Jaime? Oh, oh yeah, let's put the, the fucking tables have turned. <laughs> if Let's money see. wasn't an object, I can't. I don't know. Time is rich. I, look, I can't take a decision. Fucker. This is my problem. Well, you do this to everybody, so please. I know, but <laughs> um, you c- you answer. Let me give me some time. Yes, to you, bro. No. I know, but I want to. I want to think you, about you it. Wanna oh, you want to take my ideas? You want to think about it? No, no, you had minute. twenty episodes. Honestly, bro, I haven't tried anything that I like better than my BMW. And it would be nice if it was paid off, because, yeah. <laughs> because uh, money doesn't exist. Yeah, so no. I uh, I got a BMW too. It's just a car. The five so series, right? The five series. I'm, I'm with you guys on the BMW with that. He's got a BMW, Ken. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, the BMW is dope, bro. But I'm a Harley dude. I, I like the Harley, and I I I hope Harley can make it through these tough times and be able to change things up. And I know that. Their new two new bikes are coming. Hopefully. I swing by I swing by Bartels today. Yeah, they probably had like ten bikes. 
Oh, they're sold. They're selling. And, and I asked them, when are you guys having the 2021s? And they're like, uh, close to the beginning of the year. And I was oh. like, so what are you guys going to do? Close until then? Because your bikes are gone. Yeah. Yeah, we're still selling. So there is a problem here. That's crazy. I was like, well, it's a good How, how is there a used good. bike inventory? They have a bunch. Yeah. But yeah, there's always going to be. You know, people are excited for the new ones. The new ones are the ones that get it. Better yeah, they, that's in September, better. right? That they're gonna start. Well, they usually say that, but this year, like, they closed production on the 2020s early because of COVID. Uh, so now they're pushed back the production of 2021, and people don't know when, when they're going to get them. That's insane. Usually, yeah. usually that's cars too, everything. Cars, yeah. like, I think I heard Nissan stop making cars in the U.S., like, all these companies. But are Walmart just, and Amazon are still open. Yeah. That makes and sense. And you have to wear masks. Required. That makes sense. And Amazon? Uh yeah, Amazon's huge, brother. Right thank now. you for being here. Um, I'm happy you're healing good. I'm happy you were able to be here for episode 21. Sure. We'll see you in 20 episodes from now and get your feedback. Um, everybody, thank you for listening. Good night. Good night, guys. And that's a wrap for this episode. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the Ride Boundless podcast. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. More importantly, share, 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 share. If you know anybody that's in the motorcycle or car industry or is a fanatic or whatever the case is, let them know about this podcast. Sharing is caring. Um, If you've already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, make sure to do it. Until next week, ride safe, ride hard, ride boundless.